Heap one. Okay, so this is another binary exploitation challenge, but this is uh, the the method of solving this one is very different from the previous one. So it says, can you control your overflow? Download the binary here. Download the source here. Additional details will be available after launching your challenge instance. Okay, so uh, to save a little bit of time, I'm going to so I'm going to supply the uh, the links for you in the chat. And then I'm going to go over to my web shell. This is heap one. Heap one, okay. So I'm gonna to have to make that directory. And I'm going to need to copy this stuff. Okay, and I'm going to make this uh, this binary file executable, and then I'm going to nano into the C code. Okay, so this is um, this is a slightly more complicated version of the heap zero challenge, and in the heap zero challenge, what we are trying to do is uh, we are trying to Make sure that the the contents of the safe bar variable uh, were not equal to its initial string, which was which was bico with a b, I do believe. But in this one, it's checking is it's checking to see if the the value of the safe variable variable is equal to pico, and if so, then we win and we get the contents of the flag. So let me demonstrate by going into the program. So for these type of challenges, we need to create a, a flag file. So I'm going to echo, we got the flag, and I'm going to echo that into a file called flag.txt, which is what it's looking for. And then we'll run the shell binary. Okay, and we have these same um, memory addresses that were similar to the ones in the last challenge, which was called heap zero. So between this ad memory address right here and this memory address right here, there are these two variables. So there's pico, which is, uh, which is the initial value of the buffer that we can write. And there's bico, which is the value of the safe var variable. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to overwrite the heap so that the, the value of the safe var variable doesn't say pico, but it says pico. And if you remember from the last challenge, um, the length of the buffer of the memory space between this address and this address should be 32 bytes. So what we need to do is we need to write um, 33 bytes. We need to write 32 bytes, and then we need to write pico in order to fill up all of the um, all the memory space between here to here, and then overwrite this with the value pico, so we can do so by right selecting two right to buffer, and then we have to supply some data for the buffer. So let me take a look at my notes. So it's heap one. So this is what I have for the string that overwrites the buffer. So you see, uh, we're overwriting the buffer from the memory address from here to over here with a bunch of uh, with a bunch of different characters. There should be 32 characters right here, and then we overwrite with pico, and that's going to overwrite this safe bar variable with what it's looking for, which is pico. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to print the safe var variable to make sure that we've overwritten it with the pico value. So it's number three. So 
So safe our variable equals Pico. And then we're going to do number four, print flag. Because the program, the pro inside the program it says if the safe our variable is equal to Pico, then when we print flag, we win. So we're going to do number four. So it says you win, and we got the flag, which is the very, which is the value that we put into the flag.txt text file. Okay, awesome. So let's do it for real now. So inside of the heap one challenge window, we can launch the instance, start the virtual machine. And it's going to say connect with the challenge instance here. So this is a netcat command, which is going to communicate with the, uh, with the server at this particular networking port, copy that. And then in the web shell, we're going to paste in this command. And this is the exact program that is um, that was that was uh, that we were testing with, except that it's on the server and it has the value of the actual flag. So once again, the safe bar variable is equal to Pico to Bico with the B, and we want to override it with Pico. And we can use the same string that we used to overwrite in our test scenario with this one right here that writes 32 bytes and then pico. So we confirm that and then we print the safe bar variable with number three. Oh, it seems to have booted me out. Okay, I'm gonna need to go back and do that again. So I'm going to write to buffer number two and then I'm going to paste in this. And then I'm going to print the safe bar variable. Okay, so the safe bar variable is now Pico. So we can so now we should be able to print the flag number four. So it says you win, and it gives us our flag over here. So we can copy this. And we can also exit out of the program with Control C, and then we can go back to the challenge page and paste in the flag over here. Click on submit flag, and then we can give the, the challenge a thumbs up if we haven't already. Hey there, hacker frogs! Are you enjoying this workshop? Learning new concepts and skills? If so, there's a way you can support the channel, and it's totally free. Just click on the subscribe button below the video. Also, click on the like button. And if you have questions or comments on this workshop, please leave them below the video. Thanks for listening. And now, back to our scheduled programming.